Some of you earlier today had asked about Tesla Semi's voltage of the powertrain. Well, we are now learning that Tesla Semi is the first of several vehicles to feature a 1000 volt powertrain. How is this going to happen? Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you're here first time, please give us thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and EV news. So the Tesla Semi's inaugural delivery event for PepsiCo featured a number of key announcements that are pertinent not only to the all-electric Class A truck, but also to the company's other vehicles, as I reported earlier today. These include the Semi's charging system, which will also be compatible with vehicles like the Cybertruck, as well as the vehicle's immense power and efficiency. As highlighted by CEO Elon Musk and Dan uh, Priestley, a senior manager of Tesla Semi Truck Engineering, the all electric Class A truck is a complete uh, big. Uh, sting. Slick powertrain, 500 mile range. It's more than capable of hauling a meaningful amount of cargo on a single charge. While discussing the Class A truck's advantages, Musk and Priestley highlighted that the Semi is so powerful it has three times the power of any diesel truck on the road today. But that's not all. The vehicle is also extremely efficient. He said, you got three times the power than any diesel truck on the road right now. So you got all the power you need to get the job done. But the other reason that it's a huge animal is because it's also efficient. You can go 500 miles on a single cha cha uh, charge in one of these things. So it's the mix of those two that this is why it's a game changer. And what's awesome is that both of those are enabled by our new 1000 volt powertrain which is the first vehicle that we're doing with that Priestley set. The idea of Tesla adopting a 1000 volt powertrain came as a pleasant surprise to the electric vehicle community, especially since the company has been pretty tight-lipped about the details of its future projects. During the quarter one 2022 earnings call, Tesla executives were asked if the company has plans to adopt an 800 volt architecture for its vehicles, similar to those used by rivals like the Porsche Taycan. Back then, Tesla SVP of powertrain and energy engineering Andrew Baglino explained that an 800 volt architecture doesn't really make sense for small vehicles like the Model 3 or Model Y. The executive also noted that if Tesla does adopt such a system, it would be for larger vehicles like the Semi or the Cybertruck, considering Musk and Priestley's comments during the Semi's unveiling. However, it appears that the Semi would only be the first of several vehicles that will feature a 1000 volt powertrain. Don't worry, there will be some more vehicles coming with that, but this will be a game changer because of all of the awesome innovations that have happened behind the science and uh, behind the scenes and under the hood to speak Priestley said. So 1000 uh, volt powertrain. This will not make sense for small vehicles, but it makes sense for bigger vehicles. What's next? Tesla van? I think Tesla will have a van and it will also have 1000 volt powertrain just like the Cybertruck as we're learning. What are your thoughts? This is Armin Haria from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news and give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. God bless you and I'll see you soon in our next report later today.